hello friends welcome back to my channel so in this video i am going to show you my anatomy practical book so in this practical book you are going to uh, see that uh, all of the diagrams are differentiated in different compartments such as firstly upper extremity then it's your lower extremity after that thorax and the last is abdomen and pelvis so one by one i have drawn all the diagram so let me show firstly its clavicle and the diagram is differentiated into upper extremity and lower extremity your superior aspect and your inferior aspect i have drawn all the diagram you can see it's a scapula costal aspect and it's your dorsal aspect in the case of humerus the diagram is differentiated into anterior aspect and in your posterior aspect after humerus it's all comes under your upper extremity it's your radius in the case of radius anterior aspect and it's your posterior aspect one more thing i am going to tell you that origin and insertion it's very compulsory that you should learn that what are the origin and insertion of each and every muscle its origin its insertion everything is there skeleton of hand it's a really very large book and each and every diagram is differentiated very beautifully in the case of axilla the diagram is differentiated into horizontal section showing walls of axilla and it's the contents of axilla after that let me show you the scapular region in the case of scapular region muscles and associated structures so this is the whole diagram and this is the shoulder joint in exam suppose in the case of long answer of your anatomy uh, detail about your scapula then in that case you can make these diagrams after scapula cubital fossa is also very important now in the case of front of forearm these are the muscles in the case of hand palmar aspect and structures after removal of palmar epineurosis this is the synovial sheets of flexor tendon facial spaces of hand palmar interosseous muscles dorsal interosseous muscles each and every diagram is really very difficult and i know that i have drawn that now this is the back of forearm arteries and nerves of hand arterial anatomosis around elbow after that the diagram is about your elbow joint this is the anterior aspect and in the case of wrist and carpal joint this is the coronal sections these are the bones now in the case of hip hip bone is also very important because in anatomy if a question is asked that uh, tell me about the hip joint then in that case you should know each and every muscles its origin and about its insertion the blood supply and the arterial nerves also now it comes under your lower extremity in that case femur this is your anterior aspect and this is your posterior aspect femur is the largest bone you should know that after that its tibia this is the anterior aspect and this is the posterior aspect after tibula it's your fibula and this is the patella this is the posterior aspect of your patella after patella here comes the skeleton of foot anterior compartment of thigh this is very important diagram you should know each and every artery nerves and your muscles this is the lumbar plexus after lumbar plexus here comes the femoral sheath fascia and muscles of inguinal region this is the femoral triangle after femoral triangle here comes the adductor canal 
this is the adductor muscles and your obturator nerve this is the gluteal region now after gluteal region here comes the popliteal fossa your back of your patella popliteal artery and its branches this is the diagram of back of your thigh now your hip joint this is the anterior aspect and this is the medial aspect of your hip joint now in the case of leg and foot anterior and lateral compartment and this is the dorsum of your foot this is the back of your leg wow so beautiful i have drawn each and every diagram so beautifully this is the sole of your foot see the labeling remember if you are not knowing any of the labeling then don't try to write any wrong name because in that case your number may be deducted this is the deep dissection of sole plantar introsiae and your dorsal introsiae this is the diagram of your knee joint inferior of the knee joint this is your posterior aspect and after that here comes the ankle joint and your lateral aspect of your ankle joint after that this is the diagram of sternum and sternum is differentiated into anterior aspect and your posterior aspect these are the diagrams of your ribs after ribs superior aspect of first and second rib and the anterior and posterior aspect of your 12th rib this is the thoracic vertebra and this is the inlet of thorax and typical intercostal space this is all about your thorax and the thoracic walls now this is the mediastinum left surface and this is the right surface these are the lungs and these are the lobes you can see the lobes this is the medial surface of right lung and this is the medial surface of left lung now this is the tracheobronchial tree this is very important in the case of lung disease you should be aware of it this is the bronchopulmonary segment this is also very important now here comes the heart pericardium and your great vessels and this is the inferior of your right atria this is the inferior of right ventricle and this is posterior surface of your heart now if i will talk about the blood vessels of heart then it is exposed from above and exposed on diaphragmatic surface after that this is the mediastinal structures behind the heart and this is the thoracic duct and vena cava this is the mediastinal structure at different vertebral levels and this eighth and ninth thoracic vertebra after that this is the lumbar vertebra after your lower extremity i will talk about your abdomen and your pelvis this is the sacrum and your coccyx dorsal surface as well as your ventral surface this is the anterior abdominal wall transverse and rectus abdominis muscles this is all about your rectus sheath male external genitals now here comes the abdominal cavity and median section of your abdomen and your pelvis this is the visceral surface of spleen this is the stomach bud portal venous system its liver and this is the visceral surface of your liver kidney and your coronary section of your kidney diaphragm 
inferior vena cava and your abdominal aorta. Now after that here comes the female genit external genitals. This is the whole diagram of your posterior superior view of female internal genitalia. Now it's your head and neck region. So this is the diagram of a skull. This is the toughest diagram of this book. This and the this is the diagram. This is the norma frontalis and this is norma lateralis. This is the internal surface of your base of skull. This is the diagram of mandible, your lateral surface of mandible and medial surface of mandible. Cervical vertebra. Your facial muscles, each and every labeling is clear as you can see. Arteries of your face, nerves of the face. Lacrimal apparatus, posterior triangle of neck, superficial structure of back of neck, this is the triangle of the neck, these are the meninges and this is the thyroid gland, structure in the root of neck, carotid arteries and associated nerves, this is the cervical plexus, parotid region, your infratemporal fossa, your mandibular nerve, your submandibular region, if your mouth widely open and inferior structure of tongue, this is cavity of nose, Opening in the lateral wall of nose, your larynx, lateral view and your posterior view, coronal section and rima glottidis. This is trunk, your dorsal surface and your intrinsic muscles in your tongue. This is the lymphatic drainage. There is the intrapetrous course of facial nerves. This is bony labyrinth, membranes of labyrinth this is your spinal cord after head and neck here comes the spinal cord and brain your ventral aspect of brain this is your brain stem ventral surface and this is pyramidal diacusation transverse section of your medulla oblongata and this is transverse section of bones This is cerebellum, your superior surface and this is your inferior surface. This is the posterior surface of brain stem. Transverse section of midbrain. Upper liver. Cerebrum. Sulci and gari on the median surface. And this is the last page of this book. Sulci and gari on the inferior surface. And this is the main functional areas. Total 104 pages are there. And this is the index where each and every part is differentiated under your upper extremity, lower extremity, your abdomen and pelvis, head and neck and spinal cord and brain. So this, this video will help you out. And thank you for watching my video. Thank you. Keep smiling.